Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You know. Yep. Yeah, so I'll. Uh, well, my question is: Is why do you use Disk Keeper over, well, let's say the default Windows Defrag or any other one? Okay. The, the default Windows Defrag is uh, extremely slow to keep your words at a minimum. With Disk Keeper, you have so many more options. So let me try and find just one of the many examples. So there's Configure. You can go to the Properties. This is one of my favorite features, uh, master file table editing. If you go to edit this, one of the main problems if you are continually uh, defragging your system over and over and over to no avail, the problem is probably in the master file table. And what you can do with this program is it will give you a recommendation for what you can do for each drive. Um, and the master file table is like, I guess, a set table of how the hard drive writes files and it's set to a certain size. And a good percentage is why wow, I actually have to redo it, but no. It, if you increase the size of this, then it'll allow for defragmentations to run more smoothly so you don't have to run them as often. And having these right around 50% is good, so as you can see, I kind of have to do it. Another feature that I really love about this is a set it and forget it. You can set a defragmentation to run any day of the week, any time, you know, uh, I have a custom schedule set for weekends, so it's actually running right now. It's going, I'm going to have a defragmentation run as long as my computer's on during a weekend, and it'll run continuously until the weekend's over. So, and what's cool about it is it doesn't, you can't tell it's running in the background because you can set it to low priority, normal, or high, and I have it set to low, and you can't even tell it's running. And let's see here, if I go to the job report, it says my hard drives are healthy. So, and they remain healthy just by having this uh, weekend defrag. But those are the two main features that I look into when I'm uh, using Disk Keeper, and that's why I love using it. What else is in there? Well, um, let's see. I mean, it's got to be more than just a, a couple of features. I mean, I've got Disk Keeper installed as well, and like yourself, I've got it, set it and forget it. Every once in a while, I'll uh, set it to defrag on the next reboot or before the next uh, boot into Windows. Yeah. I mean, the, most of the other features I don't really pay attention to, but uh, it'll tell you if there is a problem. You know, it'll tell you how, how much of your hard drives are defragmented. It'll give you a, re a recommendation whether or not it just recommends one defrag or for you to run the smart defragmenter. So you, it'll recommend if you want to run it every day. You can defragment an iPod, which I'm sure you can do with the default, but... I mean, everything just runs so much quicker with this program, and that's why I think it's really worth the money. It'll tell you every single time it's run, how many fragments it's uh, deleted, the amount of times it's run. So just a couple of days ago, I had it uh, set to run constantly instead of just on the weekends. That's why the amounts are a lot lower here. But, yeah, it, it'll run... Like it says here, 656 times it ran on the 8th, and I couldn't even tell the change in speed. And you can, you can see just how many fragments that will build up over time if you don't defragment your computer. It's amazing. Yeah, those are good points to bring up. Thanks again, Protocol. Appreciate the walkthrough of Disk Keeper. As I said, uh, I am a, a big fan of it. Uh, I do also recommend it over the Windows defragging tool. And I know there are a lot of other defragging tools we've talked about on the show before. In fact, I'm sure I've brought up Disk Keeper at some point in the past. And uh, anyway, I really appreciate the walkthrough. We're using GoToMeeting to share people's screens, and we're probably going to be doing this, uh, well, hopefully for the foreseeable future. And uh, so you're welcome to email me, chris at perillo.com, if you have an idea for an on-screen walkthrough if you happen to be using a Windows machine, because GoToMeeting, while allows you to view the screen from OS X or Windows, you can only share the screen if you're on Windows right now. So uh, anyway, leave a comment, follow-up remark, just get a hold of us. You can even swing by the chat room and meet people who will take you through software tours or desktop tips and tricks, including protocol, myself, Chris Perillo. And of course, the website where you can find us chatting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, is live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.